Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome and welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing the Julie and the Phantoms book tag. So Peyton Reads and I actually came up with this book tag together. We've both been so obsessed with Julie and the Phantoms that we really wanted to create a book tag dedicated to it. I personally <laughs> have watched the show six times. It's fine. I also listen to the soundtrack every single day. Julie and the Phantoms literally consumes my mind 24-7. So Peyton and I have based the questions around each of the main characters and I am honestly just so excited for this tag. I love all of these questions and I hope you guys do too. We asked on Twitter who wanted to be tagged for this video and a bunch of you responded. So I'm gonna leave all the people we're tagging down below in the description. So make sure you check down there to see if you are tagged. I'll also leave Peyton's video down below so you guys can go check out her video. Now that all that is out of the way, let's just get started because I, I love this tag. <laughs> So the first question is, Julie, name a character that goes through a hard time but comes out on the other end stronger than ever. So obviously at the beginning of Julie and the Phantoms, Julie is dealing with a hard time. Her mom passed away the year prior. She's kind of fallen out of love with music, which is something that she shared with her mom and she's really struggling. But over the course of the show, she kind of finds herself again and becomes strong and it's beautiful. I love Julie so so much and the actress Madison Reyes did such an incredible job and it was her first acting role which is just insane. I'm just obsessed with her at the moment and the first character that came to mind when we were like creating this question and I was thinking about it was Juliet Ferrars from the Shatter Me series. She starts off the series being so weak and so scared and sad and broken. She really was a broken character at the beginning of the series. I mean she's been like imprisoned locked away for over like a year I think and so she's like been whittled away to nothing, been made to feel like she's this monster and over the course of the series she really reclaims her powers and turns it into something good instead of bad and just really comes into her own and is so strong and takes a bad situation and makes it into something good and I just I love Juliet so much. She's one of my favorite characters. She's one of the characters that always comes to mind when I think of characters who undergo a lot of character development and who are strong and I just love her a whole lot. The second question is Luke. Name a character who is more than meets the eye. I love Luke. We chose this question to go along with him because Julia throughout the show kind of has like this misconception about Luke and kind of thinks that he's selfish but she comes to learn that there's a lot more to him. He's not just this rocker dude who all he cares about is making music and being like famous or whatever. There's a lot more to him than that and it's, it's a lot deeper. There's more layers to him and I really really love his character. So the first character that I thought of for this question was Resand from the Akatar series. So when you're reading the series for the first time you have this misconception about Resand that he's like this bad boy and and he is evil and he's just like all about himself and even the characters in the series believe that as well. But over the course of the trilogy you really get to know Resand and know that he's just like a softy on the inside and that there is so much more going on in his life, in his head, that is just so much more than the bad guy exterior that he kind of exudes to everybody. He's completely putting up a face. He's not actually that way in reality and I just I love Resand so much. The third question is Alex name your favorite comfort character. Alex is such a sweetheart. He's so soft. He's so funny. He has so many funny one-liners that I'm just absolutely obsessed with and no matter how many times I watch this show I will laugh every single time. He's just so funny, so cute and he is just such a joy and definitely like a comfort within the show. So when trying to think of an answer for this one I struggled a little bit but I ended up going with Augie from Wonder. I mean this is my favorite book of all time so it kind of only makes sense that my comfort character would be from this book. Augie I think is just such a strong and beautiful character. Even though he's like 10 years old, he's somebody... Why do I want to cry? Oh no. <laughs> I'm so emotional. Wow, I'm like Alex. That's perfect. I've been crying for 25 years. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Whew. <laughs> Compose yourself, Brittany. Okay. But even though he's only 10 years old, I feel like I really, really look up to Augie. He's really inspiring to me that even though he's had this really hard life, having this facial deformity and having to go through all these surgeries and not really having any friends because he can't go to school, and then he goes to school and he gets bullied, despite going through all of that, he still is so strong and he finds the good and he, you know, overcomes it all. And he's just so inspiring, so strong, and I love him a lot. And I feel like he's a character that I latched onto so heavily 
luckily when I first read this book and like continued to hold on to. When I first read this book, I was going through a really, really hard time. I had like no friends all throughout the year that I read this book. I think it was grade eight that I read this book. Everything was really fresh. I was losing friends left and right. I felt really hated. And he, I guess, was just something that I was like striving to be. And like, I wanted to be that strong and I wanted to be that resilient. And I just, I really, really love Augie. And I feel like Alex himself is also a character that I'm kind of clinging on to right now because the world is awful. We're going through such a hard year and Alex is just like that little like ray of sunshine. I feel like Augie has continuously for the last like six years since I've read this book for the first time has just always been there and is always inspiring and always makes me feel all like warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah, I love him a lot. Question number four is Reggie, name your favorite comic relief character. So Reggie is such a funny character. He is always like, he just kind of is a little slow, let's say. He's always like catching on to things a little bit late and he's just really adorable, really funny. Reggie always makes me smile and so that's why I went with this question. My favorite comic relief character is Thorn from the Lunar Chronicles. The Lunar Chronicles is intense. Like he's like a wanted criminal. You know, there's a lot of things going on in the series. He's just always able to crack a really funny joke. I think it's kind of similar to like a comfort character and I think he's also in my comfort characters, but he's just so funny. I think there's a part where something's going on with like Cinder and I think she has like maybe water in her like head or something. I, don't, I can't remember specifically. Thorn is just like, have you tried putting it in rice or can put rice in your head? And I just... Only Thorn, only Thorn. And I feel like since the series is so intense, we kind of do need that character that's kind of just like a good comic relief. And Thorn definitely, definitely fulfills that position. The fifth question is Flynn, name a book with a strong female friendship. I love Flynn so much. She's like always there for Julie, always making sure to tell her like what's up. She's always straight with her, tells it to her how it is. She's not sugarcoating anything. You know, the entire time Julie's kind of crushing on Luke cause she's like, he's dead. He is made of air, move on. Get with this dude who's actually real and who like likes you and is like not made of air you know and I just really really love Flynn I think throughout the entire show their friendship is just such a constant and Flynn is just so supportive of Julie and it just like it warms my little heart like I just I love them a lot I think Flynn's adorable and I really want to see more of her if we get a season two one of the friendships that I always think of when people say strong female friendship is Anne and Diana from Anna Green Gables they are kindred spirits they are the best of friends and I just think that they're so sweet and pure there's just something about childhood friendships where you just meet somebody for the first time and there's like that instant connection like you meet them and you're just like we're best friends you know I remember so many moments like that throughout like elementary school where I would meet somebody and be like you're my best friend or just feel like this instant connection to them I feel like that's what Anne and Diana are but there's like they're like constant throughout the entire series even though they're like growing older but I just love their friendship in this book the next question is Willie name an anticipated release that you would sell your soul for so this just kind of means like an anticipated release that like you would die to have your hands on and like would sell your soul to get your hands on and we chose this one for Willie because Willie sells his soul to Caleb. This is just kind of what made sense to us. I actually have two for this one and they're both books coming out next year. The first one is Counting Down With You. This book I am so excited for. <laughs> I've been seeing it all over Twitter. I follow the author and she is just lovely. Every interaction I have with her is just the best. She is just so amazing and so I really want to support her debut novel. It sounds so amazing. It's fake dating. I just, yes, I'm very, very excited for whatever this is. You know, if you say fake dating, nine times out of ten I'm gonna want to pick it up so I'm really excited for this one and I like there are arcs floating around and like what I wouldn't do to get an arc of this book <laughs> and then there's also Take Me Home Tonight which does not have a cover but it is Morgan Matson's next book and she's one of my favorite authors and I've been dying for a book from her I'm pretty sure it was supposed to come out this year because she has a book every two years but it's coming out next year and I'm so excited because it has been far too long since a Morgan Matson book and I'm just ready for some new content you know her books are always great I don't remember what this one's about but like I'm excited for it nonetheless and the seventh question is Caleb name your favorite magical fantasy book so this one isn't a favorite but it just felt right for this question so I chose Caraval by Stephanie Garber so like I said this isn't like a favorite or anything I read it this year I really enjoyed it but it's not a favorite but the reason why I chose it for this question is because Caleb is a magician and he's like a powerful ghost as well and this book just like gives me those vibes like thinking of legend from the series definitely gives me like Caleb vibes like 100% and I just think it works and magic is just at the core of the series with Caraval and with Legend and this one just felt right you know like I don't know how to describe it just like it felt right and the eighth question is Nick name a book you used to like but changed your mind about and that's because Julie used to have a crush on him but then she meets Luke she changes her mind about Nick and is like I don't like you no more I want Luke I really like this question I think it's funny so the book I went for this one is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell 
I mean, <laughs> so this was a book that I loved back in 2014, I think. This was like one of the most popular contemporary books on booktube at the time. And me being uneducated, I did not realize the problems within this book. This book is heavily racist. I reread it a couple of years ago and it just like blaring red like <laughs> warning signs be like oh no and so i'm just like really upset with this book so i used to love it i thought it was adorable i thought it was amazing and then i reread it and i was like mm, not good and everyone's been talking about how problematic this book is so that's just like another like added layer to my dislike for this book it's safe to say i no longer like this book i no longer support this book and i recommend that nobody read this the ninth question is ray name a book with a supportive family slash parents so ray is julie's dad i I love him so much. The actor for him is incredible and I just think he's such like a warm and like cuddly dad. I just think it's so funny when he tries to like get mad at Julie because it just it never lasts but I just think they're so cute. Their relationship is amazing. So whenever I think of like supportive families or like good family dynamics in books, the one that I always think about is 12 Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. The family in this book, the dad, I love Lara Jean's dad. I feel like I get similar vibes from him and Ray. They're just so supportive and like kind of cool dads and like fun and I just feel feel like the dad in this book is like one of the most supportive parents and I just feel like parents are typically not very present in young adult although I think that's changing like I think in like the past like few years parents kind of have become a bit more part of the plot and part of the story. This family and Lara Jean's dad are always kind of like the first ones that I think about when we talk about families and books. The 10th question is Carlos name a book featuring ghosts. I love Carlos so much it's so weird saying that because like my dad's name is Carlos but I love him to death. He's like the cutest little boy like he's just adorable. I just I love him to death every time he's on screen I just can't help but smile because he's just such like a little cutie pie and I just love all of his lines and he has the whole plot line where he's trying to like find the ghosts in the house he's like um don't worry Julie I'm gonna protect you but he doesn't know that like Julie is like with the ghosts and it's like fully aware of them and it's just so funny I love his line where he's like I'm gonna start a channel called Carlos the Ghost Toaster it's just it's so cute! I went with Ghost Squad by Claribel A. Ortega, which is a middle grade, which also feels fitting for Carlos since he's like a young kid. This is a book all about ghosts. We follow our main character, Lou Selly. Her and her best friend accidentally like cast this spell and like unleash these like malicious spirits on the town. So there's like ghosts running rampant. And I mean, it has ghost in the title. So this was just like the obvious choice for this one. And this was just like a really cute book. You know, Carlos is a little cutie. This book is cute and I definitely recommend it. It's also very, very humorous. I was laughing a lot a couple of times. And I feel like Carlos is also very humorous. He's one of my favorites as well. Question 11 is Carrie. Name a book that always seems to have the spotlight on booktube. So Carrie always likes to have the spotlight on her. She always has to be kind of like the center of attention. And anytime Julie kind of takes the thunder from her, she gets really petty and upset. And she even like has a song called All Eyes on Me where like she's talking about how like everyone notices her and everyone pays attention to her. And she's like the most important person in the room basically. So I have two answers for this one. So The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang, I think the author is. This is a book that I've been seeing on booktube so much recently. Everybody's been talking about it. I personally have no interest in reading it just because the plot doesn't really interest me, but everyone has been talking about this book and raving about it. It always seems like somebody is reading this book or somebody is talking about this book. When we were creating this question, this one's definitely like the first one that came to mind. And then I also have The Cruel Prince by Holly Black because this one always seems to kind of be like underlying on booktube. Like it might not always be like the forefront of everything, but it has like its moments where it just like always shines through and somebody's always talking about it and people love this series. And so I just feel like these two are like the perfect ones for this question. And then we have the last question, question 12, Bobby slash Trevor. Name a series you trusted but ultimately let you down in the end. So of course, Bobby was a part of Sunset Curve in the 90s. But then after the band died, he went his own way and he changed his name to Trevor and he stole all of their music. So... So he ultimately let the boys down and betrayed them. So I thought this was such a clever question. I'm so proud of us for coming up with it. I'm really sad about the series that I'm gonna talk about for this one, but it is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Mm, I have a whole reading vlog for the series that you guys can check up above in the cards. I reread the first two books this year so I could read the final book. And let me tell you, I loved these first two books when I first read them, a little bit less so upon rereading them. But that final book, oh, was just so bad. It was so boring, it dragged. I just didn't care anymore. The novelty had had worn off. I almost wish that it was like a duology instead. It was so disappointing. I felt like the series had such merit and it had so much going for it and it just, I don't, I don't know. It just, it really, really let me down. I think that's definitely like one of my like biggest disappointments of the year because I trusted this series. I had such faith in it. I thought it was going to be amazing and then 
the final book it just it blowed it really really blowed and it felt like i was like pulling teeth the entire time i was reading it so it's it's tragic just like bobby scythe let me down so that was the julian the phantoms book tag created by me and peyton i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a huge thumbs up comment down below who your favorite character is from julian the phantoms i literally cannot choose but i think it definitely has to be like julie or the phantoms one of those four but i think i love them all pretty equally they're just oh they're amazing subscribe if you've not yet already and i will see you guys next time Bye.